Well, praise the Lord, saints, this is your pastor, Mr. Forrest e. Smith, and I'm just delighted uh, just to greet you tonight as you prepare to begin your congregational life uh, meetings. Uh, God's been good to us, and we praise and thank the Lord for each of you. Uh, even today, we were able to, by the grace of God, uh, share with the community uh, in sharing uh, food, uh, vegetables, fruit, uh, a complete uh, meat and food box uh, for many, many hundreds of families, and we praise God for each of you that joined with us, uh, you have taken to heart our commitment during the pandemic to again, uh, inform with facts, to encourage by the word of God and to involve others in love. And it was good for me to stop by the church and just see how many of you have been involved in that and outreach uh, through phone calls and Zoom meetings and other ways. But again, thank you. Even on last night, I was able to meet with hundreds of our ministers uh, and teachers as we renewed uh, again, our commitment to the word of God and to be in a true biblical community, to know the Lord even better through this community, through this pandemic. As I said so many times, not just to survive it, but to thrive. So many of you have been able to come now in person to the church and be a part on Sunday mornings and also during other times as we reach out to benefit uh, one another by knowing God together. So we praise God for you. Listen, uh, as you continue with your congregational life, uh, groups we're focusing again on spiritual disciplines and these are again biblically based practices we learn uh, to know God better uh, we learn to be in God's presence through the disciplines of fasting and prayer the word of God through meditation and other means through study and this again makes us better as people of God but also it joins us together uh, as a community which is so important as we move forward I know even tonight you're going to talk about uh, fasting. Uh, we began to introduce that on last week. And I hope you've had a chance to look at those uh, biblical passages in Matthew chapter 6 uh, in Isaiah 58, where in Old and New Testament, the Lord gives us uh, not only how to fast, but principles about fasting. I hope that you'll discover through coming together and through sharing uh, the word of God and these principles that there is a way to come into God's presence in fasting that is different than just missing a meal. Remember that uh, as you do this tonight and you discuss it, uh, you'll talk about, again, what are those godly principles? Uh, the, the Lord says uh, in Matthew chapter 6, uh, to anoint your body. In other words, not to just neglect your own body before you fast, but prepare yourself not only to cleanse your body, but cleanse your mind and your spirit uh, to have, again, a set time to come into God's presence. Again, a, a fast that's really uh, ideal is one where you don't have to exact, as the Bible says, all your labors have to work that day. But even if you have to work, at least you are consecrated and you're practicing, again, uh, discipline uh, in self-sacrifice to be before God in fasting. Also, Isaiah 58 is just rich in the principles of how to fast, and as you fast, what God will do. Uh, he, he criticizes Israel, God's people. They said, we have fasted, you have not heard. He said, yeah, but in the day that you fast, you do what? You exact all your labors. In other words, you make sure that you don't sacrifice at all. You make sure you gain as much money and things that you can. So fasting is not again, or thinking God is not again, uh, something that really is your priority. We must use these disciplines like prayer and fasting, not as an exceptional thing, but really as a priority, a way to know God better, a way to come to God's presence and to let God feed our inner selves. And to do it not only individually, but learn how to do these things also collectively. He said, uh, sometimes you exact all your labor uh, and your spirit is not right. You don't have the right open spirit. Remember, when you fast, you wanna be open to the Holy Spirit. You want to crucify the flesh. Somebody said that fasting is like breaking the shell of a, of a nut to break past the hard outer core and reach the soft inner part that gives you nutrient uh, by coming into God's presence. He said, if you do it this way, he said, he said you fast sometimes for the wrong reasons. You fast for strife uh, and for debate. This is not the kind of fast that God wants. We don't fast to show that we're better than others, or that we're above others, or even to have favor over others. It's never to put somebody else down. It's to raise God up in your own heart and allow you to be more effective uh, as a child of God. Now, he talks about the power again in Isaiah 58 of fasting. He said, uh, if you start bringing in those who are less fortunate, in other words, caring about people that don't have what you have, 
you begin to embrace and value uh, others who are, have been marginalized. God will bless you in your fasting. He said, you'll be known. You know, some of the promises of, of fasting are very powerful. He says, your light will spring forth like the noonday. He said, God's favor will be before you and behind you. He said, he said in, in the King James, he'll be your re, re reward. In other words, I'll guard you going forward and coming out. I'll guard your, your future and your background. I will bless you. He said, if you do this, you'll be known as a watered garden. Look at that. If we utilize fasting and prayer and these disciplines correctly, you will gain a spiritual reputation. You'll gain that which will allow you to water other people. You'll be able to break every yoke and allow the captive to go free. He said, your light will spring forth. He said, you will raise up the foundations of many generations. As you practice these things together, God transforms your heart, your mind, and your spirit. You're able to bless and help others. So powerful. So let's begin to do this as God has said. Let's understand that if we do it, God will bless us. God will use us. Uh, we'll be known, again, as a repairer of the breach. We'll be known as those that build up the foundation of many generations. Finally, utilize Hebrews 5 and 14. God says these spiritual disciplines of fasting, prayer, and those kind of things, they allow us to be so changed that we will be, as the Bible says, those that can endure or receive strong meat. We can receive the things that are deep in the heart of God. He says milk is for babies, but strong meat belongs to those, look what he says, who by reason of use have their spiritual sensitivities exercised to discern or know the difference between good and evil. When you fast and pray and see God correctly, both individually and collectively, he said, you'll become mature in the Lord. That's our prayer. That's our belief for you and for us as we go forward. So again, have a great time tonight. I look forward to seeing many of you uh, in person on Sunday uh, and then doing the Bible classes and doing Christian education. But if not, by way of stream, again, strong streaming network to make sure all are incorporated. And again, be a witness. Encourage others to utilize, again, either in-person services or streaming to make sure that we not only survive these pandemics, but we will thrive. As things are happening in our world, as we receive news about what's going to happen uh, going forth with racial reconciliation and violence and those things, remember who you are. You are King's kids. You are the body of Christ. You're the salt of the earth. You're the light of the world. And I'm glad to be your pastor. God bless you. In Jesus' name.